So for my entire career, I've been working with startups that are three or five years old, and they usually have a lot of data tables like between 100 and 200. And based on that experience, I already have like a few years of experience working with that kind of code and that kind of successful race project, which proved to be worthy to the market and to the investors. I wanted to talk to you about uh, the biggest problem that I see in Rails architecture when I go through those kind of startups code. So let's start. Um, imagine that you have two bounded contexts. Uh, so here is a uh, first bounded context and here is the second bounded context. And what is a bounded context? What do I mean by that? Um, it's a part of your application, specific separate part of your application, um, in which specific words have concrete meanings. Um, so like, for example, product or user or revenue or whatever kind of word you are using, usually they are kind of vague. So across all applications, not everyone, not every expert that you work with, not every programmer that you work with would agree what they mean, but they need to mean one thing in specific parts of your application. And boundary contexts uh, provided with those boundaries in which they should mean one thing. And bounded contexts um, have two things, in my opinion. So they have data. So imagine some kind of, for example, um, SQL tables or Redis, Mongo, whatever. Elasticsearch. So bounded contexts have data and they should own the data. They are the owners. They are responsible for changing, reading and exposing it. And bounded contexts also have code. So they have some kind of code. Um, so you have these two parts, for example, in your application, two bounded contexts. And let me explain you what I think is the biggest problem in Rails applications. So I think the biggest problem is that code from separate bounded context is directly reading the data in the database from a different context. So let's say you have orders and you have payments and because payments are so complicated in your project, you need to use multiple payment gateways, integrate with them in, in a multiple ways because you are a global startup and you need to uh, be very competitive. You are making deals with different payment gateways that have different offers, different APIs, and the cost of making transactions is different. So we decided to make a separate public context um, responsible for making sure that certain amount of money is paid. And you have ordering bounded contexts, which is about an order that customer made in your shop or in your e-commerce platform for the merchant that you provide the platform for. And so sometimes, and we often do it um, in both ways, so this can be also reading data from here. And so an example would be that um, we want to process some kind of payment, we want the user to pay us given amount of money, and instead of telling that amount, the, the payment is looking into the database or contacting with ordering and querying it like what is the amount, instead of having that amount given. Uh, or the other way, the order would like to know whether it's being paid or not, whether it finished successfully or not, and it does reading directly from the tables and um, from the payment bounded context. Um, so what kind of problem it leads to? So the problem is that there are no boundaries and interfaces between those two parts of your application. The communication between them is not formalized in any way. So that's that's the big problem. So when you work in this bounded context, when you look at this code and these tables that are using it, 
Um, it's very hard for you to have in, in memory to remember about, well, is there anything else reading from it? Am I free to change it any way I want just to support this part of the code? Because the answer usually is that no, we have multiple other somewhere else, maybe bigger, maybe smaller, bounded contexts. And because it's so easy in the race to use the associations and to traverse the entire hierarchy of models, it might be that multiple codes are reading those tables. This is especially um, popular if you have some kind of reports. The more reports you have, the more likely they are traversing multiple bounded contexts and making um, some kind of SQL queries to get the data they need. Um, but this means that whenever you are working at this part of code, you can't just look at this code and this data and have that in your mind because that's not good enough. You need to also know another thing that is looking here and sometimes it's not easy to find because you can just easily find in regs um, if someone is by crossing associations reaching this, this data. So if you would like to refactor this code and this data um, to make it easier to support new use cases that happen when people are ordering something in your shop, then you need to be very careful because all because of all the other parts that are looking into it directly. So you might have the in your in your mind this idea that this is something separate and you should be able to change it freely. But in reality, we don't have these super nice boundaries in various applications.